Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this table centre. And we've made ours using a centre piece with this gorgeous crown on. And we've made this using a Brother NV880E, which is a beautiful embroidery machine and it has this design built in. So all you have to do is put your thread on, press the button and away you go. So we've made this with the upcoming coronation of our king in mind. So you will need a center which measures 12 inches for this size project. Now, you don't have to do it with an embroidered piece. You could just have a bigger piece of fabric that you like and you like the center, but you need 12 inches for your center. And then you are going to need 12 pieces from a disappearing nine patch. Now, my disappearing nine patch have been made using four and a half inch squares. And you can see here, I've got some directional fabric. So I'm going to show you how to make the disappearing nine patch block, which fits around our center. And you'll notice here, that I've tried to echo the colour of the background of the crown in these. So these small pieces here and here and here are the centre pieces of our disappearing nine patch because that's what ends up as the smallest piece. And you'll see more of that in a moment when I show you how to do that. So for today, I've got another crown. Here's one our machine made earlier. And so my center pieces are going to be the same color as the background of my crown. So let's get started. So I've cut my squares four and a half inches and I'm going to lay them out to form nine. So as I say, if you want to do this, you need to make sure that your center piece is the same color as your background. You don't have to do it like that. You can use any fabric you want, but that's how I've chosen to do it today. So I'm just gonna lay this out and I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm trying to work with these directional fabrics going this way. Now we've got lots of themed fabric. It's not all directional, so the choice is yours. But for the purposes of today, I'm going to use these ones and I'm going to show you how this works. So we are going to join our nine, four and a half inch squares together to form this block. So I'm just going over to the machine to do that. Before I do, if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You can meet the team, you can see behind the scenes and we'll answer all of your questions in the comments below. So I have joined my squares to form the rows. And the important thing now before I join these together is to make sure my seams are going in opposite directions so that they lock together so I get a nice even join here. So we're just gonna go to the iron and I'm going to press those. So I'm going to set my seam first of all and that's where you press along the line that you've just sewn. And the reason we do that is to keep our seams nice and straight so they don't get twisted and distorted. And that helps for a more even finish. So now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to press those seams towards the left. So the second row, our middle row, set the seams and then I'm going to press those seams to the right. And our bottom row, I'm going to press the seams to the left. And then that way, it helps when we come to join these, you can see here 
that you've got one seam going one way and one seam going the other way. And if you butt them up together and pop a pin in, that should give you a nice accurate finish. So I'm just going to pop a pin in there. And I'll just show you again. So you've got that seam going that way and that seam going that way. And you can just feel them lock together. And then I'm going to join those and I'm going to repeat the same with the top one. So I'm just going over to the machine now to join all of these together. So we've now got our nine pieces joined together and how we make a disappearing nine patch. So our pieces measured four and a half to start with. Now our center piece measures four inches because we've lost a quarter inch in either seam. So what we're going to do is we are going to measure two inches in. So I'm placing the ruler here. So the two inch measure is actually in that seam and I'm going to cut straight up the middle. Now if you had a rotating mat this is perfect because you can turn the whole thing around and go again but it doesn't matter for today because we're just going to cut it again. So I'm going to measure two inches in again on that seam and I'm going to cut and the same on this one measure two inches in and make a cut. So these are our blocks that's going to go around our crown. So the next step would be, so we need to make more of these obviously because we need 12 of these to go around our crown. So you would repeat this another two times so that you would have 12 blocks. And then what we would do is we would lay them out. You could put them any which way you wanted to. So you would just join two together and then join them at the side. So those two, when they've got their seam, will fit at the side. And then you would repeat the same on the other side. And then you would go across the bottom with your disappearing nine patch pieces. So you could make sure that you'd got cornerstones if you wanted to. So you just need to think about the fabric that you're going to use as your centerpiece. So if I show you on this one, so my cornerstones are all the bus and taxi fabric. And then the corners of these ones, either side of the center, are the dark fabric. So when you're making your blocks, just think about what you want in what position. So I'll just repeat that for you. So you can see the bigger squares are the ones that are on the corners. The one that you want least of is your center square because that ends up being cut into four. And then these ones here are the ones that get cut in half. So it's just a case of thinking about how you're gonna lay your fabric out so that you can see what you end up with. So they're our squares once they've been cut and then you can turn them any which way. So I'm going to finish this using the royal blue and I'm going to go off now and make some more squares. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. As always, have fun and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.